Alright. Sunday morning. Six o'clock. June the fifth. Twenty eleven. Ready to go fishing. Got the rods loaded up. Leaving Uncle Phillip's house. Uncle Phillip's truck. And uh, headed over to the, the Deer Club. The uh, This is the South Carolina Deer Lease. We're 12.9 miles from there right now. He lives 12.9 miles from his deer hunting, which is stupid. But um, we're uh, about to take off and, and uh, go fishing this morning. Uh, Shell crackers, red, I mean, uh, bluegills, and bass. Nice look around, real quick. At the place. Got a nice lot here. It's in a cul de sac, but um, this is where I stay when it's too hot to camp. <laughs> And uh, we're going to go check these fish out. This should be good. This should be real good. Uh, we got there yesterday morning to do food plots and, and clean up on the property. Fish where you could hear them popping the top of the water. Uh, this ought to be a good trip. So you know, stay tuned. We'll be back when we get there. All right, here we are on the lake. Getting ready. Showed up to a surprise. The old Uper's here. That's cousin Roger. So he's gonna fish with us this morning. It's ought to be good. Roger's in there with the hemostats trying not to rip his damn guts out of his mouth. <clears throat> Them for laying kind, son. I'm getting starting to get a little mess here. About all the way around the pond, three quarters of the way. Mm-hmm. Uncle Phil's saving the best for last, he said, over there in that shady. Yeah, that back corner. Shady cove. We'll get from there. Cool. Alright, party people. I know I haven't been getting no footage of us catching them, but we are starting to pick up a few now. Yeah. 
few in that basket there, decent ones. <laughs> and the youper, of course, ain't catching shit. Because the Yankees don't know how to fish anyway. If it's not walleye, if it's not Al Lindler catching one of those walleye puppies. Yeah, or, or it's one of them little monsters like that. Oh, yeah. See, that's that's what youpers catch when they north. come to the south there. He's catching the bait and just throwing them over here to us. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I'll do it. About do it. All right, that's what we ended up with. But I don't know, 15, 15 18, keepers, shell crackers, bluegills, and bass. Shell crackers and bass, anyway. Mm-hmm. Got some little ones in there that we hooked in the gills and couldn't couldn't uh, throw them back in and let them rot in the pond. So. Those will get eaten too. And as you can see, you get out of the water and we're right at the camp. Now, this place is awesome. This place is awesome. Four or five acre pond, 100 acres to hunt on, big bucks, the works. And a nice mess of fish anytime you want them. Cool. What's up, guys? It's Neil, Briar Goat Killer here. Just thought I'd show you. I just got back home from this camping trip. I mean, this uh, fishing trip and food plot trip. And uh, when I get home in the summertime, I usually got a cool full of fish uh, when I go to that South Carolina deer camp. So, um, show you how I take care of them once I get here. Real simple. bass there, largemouth bass, small guy. We throw back all of our big uh, female bass. When we catch a three pound bass in that pond, we throw it back every time. When we catch these little guys, we've got hundreds of them in there, these little males, we, uh, we keep Basically go in behind the fin, behind the gills, go straight down to the spine, turn the knife, fillet down the length of the spine, turn the fillet over, and 
and you fillet the skin off of the meat. Just keep that skin pinched down, mashed down on the table. Fillet the meat right off the skin. Haha! -ha. Don't have to scale them, just fillet them. Simple enough. Flip it over, do the other side the same way. Filet of fish. Press it all down good. I like to start this one at the tail if I can. Press it all down good. It's important to press down on it to keep that skin flat on your on your cutting board. Just fillet the meat right off the skin. No fuss, no muss. Two perfect, delicious bass fillets in what? Well, let's see. Two minutes, but a minute of that was bullshitting. That's how I do it. Cool. Catch you on the next one.